Welcome to the Kilowatts. In today's video, we've got two brand new Model Ys that we're going to be wrapping two completely different ways. This car is getting a paint protection film by Xpel, and this car is going to get a 3M vinyl wrap. The process is not too terribly hard. I'm no professional, but I hope to show you how you can do this at home. If you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. Let's get started. These are two very different materials, and they're very different to apply as well. Uh, paint protection film would be a wet apply and is more expensive, but does a better job protecting your vehicle. Whereas a vinyl wrap is not designed to protect your vehicle, it's less expensive and it's a dry apply. Let's talk about the materials needed to apply each one of these. You'll need cleaning supplies, tools for trim and badge removal, tools for prepping and cutting film, a heat gun as well as tools for securing film, and finally, if you're working with paint protection film, you'll also need a squeegee and some lubricant. You'll need plenty of time, and if you get stuck, an extra pair of hands. Before we get started, I wanna emphasize how important it is to start with a clean car. Go ahead and watch other videos on how to clean your car. We're gonna jump right in and start removing some of the trim pieces to get ready to wrap the car. Cool. Before we wrap the whole car, I recommend we wrap the center console with just a little bit of wrap. I always like to recommend starting with something small like the center console because it's great practice and a great way to get to know your film. The process of wrapping vinyl is as easy as stretching material, tacking it down, cutting the excess film while removing any bubbles, and then tucking the edges. This process should be even easier for me because I have the paint protection film that I can use as a template to cut my 3M film. I like to start large sections of wrap by establishing a center line. I'll highlight the center line with this green tape. On difficult trim pieces such as this door handle, I like to go slow with a sharp blade.
Concave shapes can be difficult to wrap in one piece. I've cut out these already to help, but I'm still gonna use some knifeless tape. Now, this is my first time applying a paint protection film, so I didn't record video while applying the first few panels. I did, however, also need that extra pair of hands in order to properly stretch the material for the front and rear bumper. Now that I've got a handle on it, let's jump in. In my experience, you want both the surface that you're wrapping and the paint protection film to be as wet as possible. Now once I get the material where I want it to live, I'm gonna start tacking it down, removing as much water and air as possible. We're gonna work the bubbles from the inside to the outside, lifting if necessary. And after a week, that's it. Both of these cars took several days to wrap. The vinyl wrap took about 20 hours, whereas the Expel Stealth took about 12. I'm really happy with how they turned out. The vinyl wrap was just a little bit easier for me to apply, whereas the Expel Stealth, while it was a pre-cut kit, was a little bit more difficult to stretch and remove all the bubbles. If I had to pick one, I'd pick the vinyl wrap because of the lower cost and the higher impact it has on the look of the car. Comment below, which would you choose? Thanks for watching the Kilowatts.